All right, I made a video this morning, a Soapbox Sunday, and I mentioned an issue I was having with the Analog Discovery Audio Analyzer Suite. And thanks to the wonderful uh, contributions of some of my YouTube watchers, the mystery is solved. Uh, sometimes you get so close to a problem and that you just can't step back and figure it out. And that's why I said I need to walk away from this thing a little bit. Um, but thanks to a couple tips from people that posted online and a few people sent me emails. Here's the whole gotcha. So apparently the um, analog, the audio analyzer suite software doesn't use waveform 2 except for the IMD test. For all other tests, it's reliant upon um, waveform generator 1. Um, and so even when you put it in both mode, you've got to drive both sides of the amplifier with the um, output from waveform generator 1 here. So um, the THD versus frequency is working. THD versus power is working now. Frequency response is matched up now. The scope waveforms are matched up now. Everything is working fine. You just let me show you here in this picture what I ended up actually doing. It's pretty simple, as you can see here. I took the output of, um, of waveform generator one and I split it out into both parts of the uh, amplifier. And also, if you remember, I had phase shift on the output. Um, these outputs weren't synced up. Well, here's the whole issue with it. I had this on no synchronization. As soon as you change that over to synchronized. Um, it syncs up the waveform, so it was just uh, me using the tool here. So a bunch of a uh, bunch of Mark doing stuff wrong is bottom line. Here is what we found today. But thanks so much for people that gave me feedback. Let me show you one other thing. And lastly, I, it's been a, it's been a while now, almost a year. I drew up. If you go to my website, scroll way down, you'll find out I drew up some how to hook up the analog discovery. Uh, made some pictures and put them on my website. Well, guess what? They're all wrong because I had assumed that waveform um, generator one and two both put out the same signal, and um, I could have used one of them for feeding um, like IMD and the way I would have wired it up, but that's not the case at all. So I'm going to have to redraw these pictures as well. My assumptions on this unit have been wrong all along. I, I haven't gone back to look. Maybe the instructions. Uh, we're right, and I just didn't follow them, or maybe the instructions didn't even cover this. So, at any rate, mystery solved. Thank you, thank you, thank you to the, you know who you are. Several of you have sent me something, and I don't know which one was first, because um, I got a couple emails, and I um, I also uh, saw some comments on my post. One of my comments that tripped me up first basically said, um, Hey, just to determine if it's, you know, which side of the, um, the, the uh, audio to digital converter it is or DAC or whatnot, it, it was basically, why don't you try that, try using the same outputs from channel one. And then I got an email from somebody else that said, hey, by the way, channel two is not even used except for the IMD settings from what they could tell. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, we are on to better things. I'm going to redraw these. Now I can finish up my video series on these and uh, have people using it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you.